Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous two videos, we have seen logical operators and then comparison operators. In this video, let's try understanding better by doing a hands-on. Say suppose there is an application wherein which you are asking the user to enter the age. In case if the age of the user is between 18 and 60, then you are giving the access to something. Otherwise, you are denying the access. In such an application, let's try doing it. So, first, I have to accept an input from the user. How do I do that? Say, I am trying to accept the age. Age is equal to, I am accepting the input from the user. So, I have to use the keyword input. So, I will give some text. Enter the age. So, before I use logical operator or comparison operator, let us check what is this, what kind of data type is age. How do I check that? If you have remember, if you remember, I am trying to do check the type of age. See, it is of the class string. Sorry, I will zoom it for you. It is of the class string. But whenever the input is in the form of a string type, it is difficult or the comparison operator does not work. So, in order to do that, I have to convert this into an integer. How do I do that? So, again, I will go for the type casting. Right? So, how do I convert this input? into h what i do is i do the type casting as int and close the bracket if you require more details of type casting there are videos which is uh, which we have seen in the previous if you have not seen or you can revisit again for more clarity now i have done the type casting now i will re execute again to check if you observe now currently if age is of the data type string. Now let's re execute. So, have you observed now? It is instead of str string, it is int. So now I can conveniently use the logical and comparison operator. Otherwise, please try out without doing this type casting if you try out comparison operator. Okay, so please try to find out what kind of error do you get. So having said this, now I have converted into H. I will use logical operator and comparison operator. So how do I do that? I will again say print. I am trying to find out now H whether it is greater. Right? So this greater than symbol is my comparison operator. I am saying 18 and I will be using a logical operator which is AND, A-N-D, right? The explanation of, his, of AND operation is shown in the previous two videos, right? And H is less than 60, right? So, in case if the condition holds good, it is going to print me true. Otherwise, false. Right? So, let me show you both the cases. Now, it is asking for my age. Say, I will say 28. 28 is within the range of 18 and 60 and hence I get a 2. Okay? Let me re-execute this and give as age as 5. False. So, only if this condition holds good, whatever is being written, so you will get true, otherwise you will get false. So, what are the learnings from this video? 
In this video, we have reinforced the learning of typecasting in the first line by using INT within braces. You write, this is first learning. Second learning would be, I have used two logical, op uh, I mean two operators. One is logical operator and, and the comparison operator greater than and less than. So, this is how I can make use of comparative operators and logical operators. You can try out one more application where I say print age is either greater than 18 or age is greater than 21. In either of the case, it is like this. Try out this. Obviously, 18 or less than 21. Just check out this. I'm giving 19. So in both the cases it is true and true. Right? This is how I can use. I can use and operator and or operator. I expect you to try with equal to equal to, not equal to, greater than or equal to, greater, less than or equal to comparative operators by yourself. If you face any problem, please let me know. See you in the next video. Thank you.